guys, this is Rag. Today we're gonna play some The Crew. I mean, some. The Crew. That sounds wrong. Some The Crew. Never mind. Anyway, um. Yeah, I might do some Battlefield later. We'll see. But, yeah, um. Yesterday I had. I, I don't know if I've showed my. I don't think I've showed my Dodge Viper, but recently I bought the Dodge Viper from Uplay with the Uplay coins or whatever it's called. Points. Coins. Never mind. Um, and I, I would call this car one of the kings of thrift because I've heard it has been a very famous drifting car. I don't know. At least I was here in the office a couple of years ago when I was... I wasn't that big at the time. Oh, well, that's all I've heard. So I don't know if it's that still, but all I know it's like it's been pretty good to drift with. So I would prefer to call it the king of drift if I can. But it's a nice car, and this is my perf class one. And I'm really excited for the Wild Run DLC because. Um, the graphics will be better and I like the graphics still but uh, of course I will never say no to better graphics because that will make the experience even better I, I love this game and also yeah it will come drag race cars and drift cars and I think it will be monster trucks and bikes too but that will be exciting like because I've really been trying to drift in this game and I've been trying to do that in GTA too but it's of course a little bit harder in GTA because it's not mainly a car game like mainly it's supposed to be like only cars racing or it is a lot of that but like it's not a game that has been focusing completely on races of course they focus on driving cars but not the way this one's this game look does but anyway, um, I think I just crashed into a cop car without getting cops on me. Wow. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you will join me sometimes. And sometimes I do do videos with my friends. Sometimes. But, uh, yeah. And. Cause, um, but a very cool thing. I, I didn't actually notice it before yesterday. Look at that backlight there. When you use the when you use the backlights when you are supposed to like back up or something, that light fl that little logo flashes, but it doesn't do that at the front because that's just a steel logo. And that's pretty cool. Like the little snake head back there will flash. So, and by the way, I'm really also excited for, uh, by the way, wait a second, um, the thing I was going to say about the, uh, I w I'm just going to finish about the story with the wild run, um, I w I was really excited how they're going to make the customization of the car thing on those new specs, because I wonder how because you know monster sharks are pretty high and i wonder how they're gonna make it po if the, if it's gonna be possible to like drive them down in your garage when you you know in the cutscene when you're gonna go into your garage you see you're driving down there and i wonder i i, I wonder if they might make some kind of specific other garage you get in the cutscene and stuff when you i don't know anyway um it's gonna be interesting and yeah the thing i was going to say i'm really excited for fallout as i've said probably a lot of times because that one of my favorite that's one of my that's my favorite open world game i guess i have so many favorite games i can't even count it but um i've really been uh, been attached to fallout because fallout when it comes to open world games at least it's it's just really good game like you can it's a game that you don't 
it, that doesn't get boring after a lot of hours because it's as a little example for example like sims you building things almost all the time or something this game it's pretty same thing uh, uh, not by the building thing of course that's something that can add now but by the way uh, the thing is this is like sims you can play it for hours without really getting bored because the world is so huge there's so, so many things you can do and like it's like it's not really it like it kind of happens things all the time like you don't have to like read start missions and stuff to enjoy yourself for example like games with missions like sometimes I kind of wish battlefield was open world but of course it's a shooter but it could have been open world I've seen open world shooters but because I feel the graphics in battlefield would look awesome in open world but of course battlefield would probably stay to either have like huge maps and stay to their normal map mode I mean map thing in the game where you have to choose maps to play on or missions on single player but anyway um, I really hope you have enjoyed uh, and I really hope you are also excited for those games I'll just play a little bit more and the episode gonna be over but But I want you guys to say what's your favorite games. Tell me down in the comments or tweet me on Twitter. Uh, links are uh, for Twitter is in this description. And I guess I'll do a finishing drift here if I manage. <laughs> Hope you have enjoyed. next video.